The National COVID-19 Task Force is comprised mainly of ministers along with heads of several state agencies such as the Guyana Civil Aviation Authority and the Civil Defense Commission. The Private Sector Commission was invited to be a part of the task force, but during a virtual press conference on Thursday, it was revealed that the commission is actually on a subset of the task force and is not involved at a policy-making level. The PSC had nominated chairman of its Trade and Investment Subcommittee, Ramesh Duku, as its representative to the task force. However, Duku expressed his dissatisfaction with the arrangement. We are not entirely happy about the structural uh, arrangements of the National Task Force. Um, as you know, the Private Sector Commission was invited to sit on the task force, and we subsequently heard that we will be dealing with a subset of this task force. So I, I don't believe that we are getting the opportunity to, to participate in what major decisions are being made. I must, however, report that many of the colleagues that I deal with who sit on the task force have been very receptive. According to Duku, it is important to consult with civil society in situations like these whereby every facet of the country is being affected by this pandemic. Meanwhile, similar sentiments were expressed by Chairman of the PSC, Jerry Gavaya, and President of the Georgian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Nicholas Boyer. The GCCI president noted that there are some gray areas that need to be addressed regarding the enforcement of the emergency measures that were implemented by the National Task Force. A lot of my members who are in the retail trade have complained to me that they were being unnecessarily harassed by police uh, yesterday, especially down the region street corridor. And what that speaks to is that there's no central singular narrative and coordination. For instance, the police were enforcing lockdown orders, even on businesses that were considered essential. So we need to, you know, as you say, have a national task force and ensure that all the actions coming out of the task force are centrally coordinated so that you have even application of the rules. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Shamar Allen.